What is going on my fellow YouTuberinians? My name is Scrunt and today we are back with some MX vs ATV All Out. Now in this video it will be episode 11 of our daily dub series in which we get a dub every single day. So if you do enjoy the video make sure that you drop a like and also remember to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more MX vs ATV content. But without further ado guys let's just jump right into it because I know this video is a little bit shorter than my normal ones. So what we will be talking about today are UTVs and some new tracks and also a new vehicle that has been leaked i think so uh somebody commented on episode nine of my daily dub series uh his name was matthew and he said that somebody on youtube was leaking the tracks and also the new vehicle or vehicles that we're going to be getting with the dlc i went over checked out their channel their channel is called game clips i will have a uh, link to it down in actually the comment section um so on Game Clips channel, they have all kinds of different uh, games on there, but they do have some MX vs. ATV. I watched those videos, and lo and behold, it does look like they have some new tracks and some new vehicles on there. Uh, so what I saw were new arena cross tracks, and I also saw a Yamaha... Um, oh man, what's it called? I don't know what the UTV is called, but it was the Yamaha version of the UTV. Uh, so that kind of confirmed it right there, and I was like, "How is this possible?" Like it, I didn't think it was um, MX vs ATV All Out at the time, but it it was. You know, it, there was no mistaking that it was MX vs ATV All Out. It wasn't Reflex. It wasn't a mod or anything. This was All Out. Uh, so it looks like we're going to be getting a lot of new arena cross tracks. Uh, they look fantastic. I'm kind of excited, but I'm also kind of scared uh, because the UTVs right now are in a terrible, terrible place doing the uh, UTV section of series mode, and this is series mode by the way, because obviously I couldn't get a UTV clip online. So uh, doing series mode, the UTV section, and doing it on all time is horrendous. My UTV is never in the right gear that it needs to be. I'm getting pushed all around the track by the AI, which is surprising because they don't push you any other time but when you uh, are in UTVs, I guess. And uh, I'm just sliding all over the place. I'm the, the big problem is though that I'm not in the right gear ever. Like that's the, the biggest problem that I face with the UTV is that I'm never in the right gear. So some of you could say, well, you could go to um, manual shifting if you, if you really wanted to be in the right gear all the time. Yes, I could do that. And yes, it does kind of work a little bit better to drive the UTVs in manual. I have tried it, but I shouldn't have to. Like I shouldn't have to go to manual and change up my settings just to make the UTV viable. Like it doesn't make it good, it just makes it viable and, and, and drivable. Uh, I still have fun on the UTV when I'm not taking anything seriously, but when I'm in series mode trying to do these races and doing it all in all time, I, I am taking it serious. So um, this was just, it, it was a hard time, man, driving this UTV in series mode. And uh, I have it fully upgraded. I, I've tried tuning it, but nothing really works for it. It's still very slippery. The gearing is never correct. It, it's just all around very bad. Um, and I don't know what's going on with the AI. Maybe they grew some balls or, or something, but they just, <laughs> they are relentless on the track for UTVs. They just push you all over the place. So I don't know, man, but, uh, seeing that Yamaha UTV in there, it, it kind of got me excited because obviously I do love Yamahas. Uh, so that will definitely be going into the garage, but it got me excited because that means that they are planning on doing more things with the UTV, you know, it's not a forgotten relic in MX versus ATV's time period. Uh, it, it's it's going to be something that they continuously are, are going to try and upgrade. Um, now, I think this thing needs a huge overhaul, honestly, start from the ground up, like just, just like pretty much remake this thing because there are so many things wrong with it, man. Like the control with it is, is bad. The shifting is terrible. Um, it also this this part really kind of sucks because I obviously like driving in first person. That's the only <laughs> that's the only thing that I do. But I cannot do that in uh, the UTV or on the UTV because whenever you take a jump, the nose actually sticks up instead of going down, so you can never see where the, where you're landing. So uh, first person mode is pretty much out on the UTV, and that really sucks because the UTV could have a pretty good first person mode. I mean, it, it's it's a nice little side by side. I, I would like to be in first person and not and riding around on like free roam. But I don't even take this thing on free roam anymore because it's just like, what's the point, man? Like I, I, I'm never going to be able to a do any tricks with it, so it's just it's kind of boring. 
but B, I'm not going to be able to really have fun with it because I'm always going to be struggling, whether it's not being in the right gear, sliding around, you know, like I'm literally slamming on these brakes and it's just nothing's happening. It's, I, I just keep sliding. Oh man, the UTVs are just, it's, they're so underused, man. But obviously there is a reason why. It's just because they're not in a good place right now. And it really sucks, man. It really, really does suck. But uh, yeah, I, I definitely will uh, post the person's YouTube down in the comment section below. Game clips. Uh, so you guys can check out their videos and uh, see the new tracks. And also the Yamaha UTV, which uh, looks like we're going to be getting. So hope you guys did enjoy the video. That's going to be it for this one. Peace.